What's up, boo? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I have gotten some compliments on my brows. Like, I don't know how or why, but I have. So I thought today that I would show you my brow routine. As you can tell, my brows are short, they're pretty thin, like all the things. So let's just, let, let's work it out so that we can finish this face up. So I brought you in a little bit. Like I said, my brows end really like right where my eye ends. Like there was no, nothing over here. I will get stragglers, scragglers. I don't know, whatever the word is every once in a while over here and I will just shave them off because they're usually not in any type of formation. They do not <laughs> coincide with one another whatsoever. And so I just, I just go with this. So the first thing that I do, that I have to do, is I have to put a gel in them. They, the little bit that I have, I want them to stay in place. I want them to fall into accordance with whatever look that I am doing and help to complete my face. Brows essentially are the curtains of your face. They just help to frame it. They give it shape. They help to complete a look. So you want to be very aware of the shape that you're going for because depending on the shape, it will change the way that your makeup looks. You get them too high, you look surprised all day. You get them too straight, you look like that emoji that's just like, mm. like it does make a difference. So I just use the LA Girl Set It Clear Brow Gel. This is a really good, affordable drugstore option. I got this at Ulta, I believe. So you don't have to spend a lot. It gives a soft hold, and I noticed that it doesn't leave any residue behind. So I put that on there, and I kind of let that sit and do its thing for about a minute or two. Typically, I'll go in and do like the rest of my face, you know, like my bronzer, my blush, things like that while that's drying. I've actually already done that. So now we're just gonna chill and wait, you know, that minute or two. Now that time has gone by, I'm gonna use this Fenty, what is it, Brow MVP? Yes, this is the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. It's just what I had in my drawer. I actually used up my other one and was like, okay, I'm pretty sure I have another one around here. Let me just grab something. This has more of like the finer tip which is what I tend to like. Now, you may like the ones that are a little bit more triangle. That's perfectly fine. You may also like the ones that are like pomades, you know, in the little jars. You may like powders. Whatever you like, that's perfectly fine. I just prefer a brow pencil. I feel like it gives me the most control in regards to the feel of it, but also in how I shape my brows and the density, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm looking for the density in which my brows will come out. Like I don't want Sharpie brows. So this for me is the easiest. So I kind of do both of my brows at the same time, which sounds weird because people, a lot of people tend to do one at a time, but I kind of do them both at the same time. So I follow my natural line right here in the beginning of this one. And then I do the same thing over here. And they are not the same line. Brows are sisters, not twins. So trying to get them to be exactly alike, first off, will drive you insane because I've done it. And you will waste a whole 45 minutes trying to get your brows to look alike. Just, just let it go. Sisters, not twins. So I go in, like I said, and do this line. And then I will go in and do the rest of this line. This one's a little bit longer and fuller than this brow is. And this one goes up a little bit more, which is fine. Like sisters, not twins, right? So now that I've got them both and immediately it looks uneven, that's okay. You're going to fix them. I'm going to fix them. We are going to fix that. So then I go back over here and I kind of create an arch. Like this one, my arch would be like right here. So I create a little bit of an arch. I have hooded eyes, so I don't create big arches. It makes the hood of my eyes look even heavier. So we don't do that around here. And then this one, this one's kind of like right here. So I'm going to create a little bit of an arch right there. 
and I take them out as far as I'd like them to go. Yep, that's about right. Now I go and I do the front. I do a few little lines over here. I do a few little lines over here. Then I do the top of this one, because like I said, this one's more full. So then I do the top of this one to give it a little bit of that full. And I will put a little bit over here. And now you can see that they're starting to look more even. And then, of course, following that arch, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And the same with this. Following that arch, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Still look a little crazy. I know, but we're getting there. So now I'm going to fill in this back side. And I'm taking a, like pretty, pretty short strokes, lots of little short strokes. And same over here. And sometimes I have to get more product, which is cool. There's no beef on that. I just want to make sure that it is filled in the best that it can be. Awesome. And then I kind of find just like those spots that need a little bit more attention. Like the bottom of this brow needs a little bit of attention and the top. And then over here, I'm going to make this line. I'm going to straighten it up just a little bit. The top doesn't really need a lot of attention because it is more full. But it does need to be tamed. So... At the top, you can see I've got hairs that are sticking a little up. So I'm going to help brush those down. There. See? They look like sisters. Now, we're going to get this front part because you don't want your brows to be like, ooh. And we're here. So taking the spoolie, this one has a little bit of a different style spoolie. But you're going to comb out just that front portion on both of the brows. And it gives more of that gradual look. And then you're going to look, make sure that they are looking complete. I see a little spot right here that I want to do. Perfect. And a little spot right here. And then make sure to brush it out, like I said. And then I'm going to hit this tail one more time. I don't know what happened, but I feel like some of that color just like went away. Once you're satisfied with your brows, and I am, take your setting spray. Make sure to hit those. That'll help lock everything in to place, and then you don't really like have to worry about it throughout the day. And I see a little spot right here that I'm going to hit with the spoolie while they're still a little wet. Bam. That's it. That is how I do my brows. That's what seems to work for me. Like I said, it frames the face. Look how much more complete and together it looks. I still have to finish my lip, mascara, those kind of things, but... It just framed the face so well. I know that was a super short video, but hopefully walking through that helped you out because I know brows can be so intimidating. No one wants to make the wrong move. No one wants to use the wrong color, anything like that. If you're not sure of your color, go into like Ulta, Sephora. They will help you color match. And then you can, you know, kind of go from there. I am more of like a soft black, um, espresso even like i'll use like a deep brown somewhere around there i never go like black black like for me that's just too much it gives more of the sharpie brow and that's what i want to avoid so if you need some help trying to find the color there are people out there that will gladly help you to find that color because 
We are all in this together. All of us got to stay fly together. We are one unit. Let's get it. I hope you enjoyed this video. May God continue to bless you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.